making funny noises over there. I need room up here. All right. We don't need to do a show. We'll just do that all day long. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? My name is Mr. Dan, the circus man. What are you giggling at? It's my name. I got some bad news. I got some terrible news. I'm not the greatest circus person in the world. I need help. Here's how you pick my helpers. They have to follow the helper code. First of all, I only pick helpers who are sitting down. Either crisscross applesauce or two by four. And what I mean by two by four is their two feet are towards the floor. All four feet of the chair are on the floor. Oh, like this? That's right. <laughs> Anybody who stands up at any time when I don't call on them cannot be a helper for the rest of the show. <laughs> Number two, I pick people whose hands are in their own laps. Not in their neighbor's laps. Not in their noses. <laughs> and never in their neighbor's noses. That just won't do. Okay. <laughs> oh, and I picked those who when they see something amazing, <laughs> they don't say, whoa. Whoa tells a horse to stop. Do you want me to stop? <laughs> do you want me to stop? So you don't say, well, you say, yay, Mr. Dan. Yay, Mr. Dan. Thank you. Thank you for those applause. I appreciate it very much. Now, I also pick those who, when they see me do something that's not very fun, something that's just strange, or worse, something that doesn't quite <laughs> work, they don't laugh at me. <laughs> Why does everybody laugh at me? I pick those who, when I make a mistake, look at me and tell, look at me straight in the eyes, and they tell me the truth. They say, "Yay, Mr. Dan! Yay, Mr. Dan! I'm gonna have a lot of helpers this time. This is really cool. Stay. All right. We are here for a very special reason. Do you know what that reason is? Lucy's birthday. Lucy, step on up here." Ladies and gentlemen, Lucy today is, well, actually last week, but close enough, right? She is 70 years old. <laughs> I mean, look, she doesn't look a day over 50. I'm thinking really, not 70? 70. I, I heard that wrong. She is 17 years old. She's got the car. Not, Can you show me with the fingers? I'm better with the... Okay, we got one, Tuesday, W, square, September, October, seven. Yes, yeah, she is seven years old today. Or... And it's for this reason that we have brought the circus to you. That's right, the entire circus. Right there. That's true. Well, we've got a whole circus here. We brought it here and then you came here. Are you ready to be part of the circus? Now there are, we, we, there's a problem in the circus. Are you ready for the problem? The problem in the circus is that everybody's getting sick. The ringmaster caught the cold. And they're trying to figure out who in the circus can replace the ringmaster for the show. And one person said that they were the bravest, most courageous, most death-defying 
birthday girl in the room. Lucy. And what is Lucy's amazing skill at the circus? What? She is the lion tamer. Sorry, I just woke up. It was a yawn. All right. Now, Lucy, you are the ringmaster. Or, excuse me, you are the lion tamer, right? So you have to tame the lion. Pat him on the head. Yeah, that was a pat. And tell him what to do. He's good. All right. Do a backflip. There we go. Now, the hard thing is jumping through the ra flaming ring of doom. But we don't have any fire. It's not flaming. No, but it is better than calling it the pink, r r the pink ring of silliness, isn't it? So, now, you do not hold the lion. We've got insurance problems with that. You get to hold the ring. Now, remember, the lion is jumping through the ring. So where do you want to be? Yeah, that's right. Get that as far away from your face as possible. Hold the ring there. And now you tell the lion to jump. Jump. <laughs> <sighs> you got to be you got to be mean. Give him your mean face. <laughs> now he's scared. Tell him there's a stake over there. Point. High stake. One, two, are you ready? Three, and the lion jumps through the ring, starting off the circ. Wait a minute. No, don't, don't pull, don't, wait, wait. What are you laughing at? You think this is easy? Do you, do you think getting through a hoop is easy? Put your hands in the air. All the way up, put them together. Now, if getting through a ring was easy, then she'd be able to get through. <laughs> Stay, Leo. Pick up that ring. See, it must be. Can't let her do me. Oh! We'll try it a different way. Put your foot in there. No, just one. Reach down, pick it up. Put your head down. Put it through the hoop. Put your arms through the hoop. Everybody, this takes even more energy. She needs help. Lucy, 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 Our contortionist birthday girl. No, we don't need musical toots. Our contortionist birthday girl, Lucy. Take a bow. Do you mind? I may use some of your circus magic later to help with the show. Okay. All right. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll just shake your hand and say good job. Good job. Good go ahead and have a seat. Now, there were others who thought that they were good enough to be in the circus and to be the ringmaster. Do you know who they were? There was this young lady right here. There was this young lady right here. And there was this young lady right here. Stand on up, all three of you. Come on up here. They were a trio of you going to help, too? Yeah. All right. They were a quattro. That's a trio with an extra. A very skilled and acrobatic 
peacock feather jugglers. One of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, and I'll balance all of it. No, I won't balance all of it. Now, see what the top is? What's that look like? The very top, up here. No, this very top. It looks like an eye. And if you four keep your eye on this eye, and as it moves, you move your hand. Let me get over here where I can be seen. You can put it right on your hand like this and let it go and balance. That's easy. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Look at the top. Move your hand as the peacock feather moves, as the top moves. Well, some people, after years of practice, can put it on their pinky or on their finger and just do it like that. And she said she couldn't do it before. Now, if you're good with your finger, you could toss it up and catch it in your hand. Okay, I'm dizzy. Okay. Hi, Dizzy. <laughs> All right, now wait a minute. Let me show you the final thing. If you get really good, really good, concentrate. You can do. Otherwise, it would fall. I can do it for a second. All right, don't. Let's hear it for our peacock feather people. Take that. I will take that. I will take that. You guys can have a seat back down. The peacock. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I need the feather back, please. Yeah. Hello, Itchy. I thought you were si uh, Dizzy. Yeah, both. You're, you're, you're Miss, Miss Dizzy Itchy? Mmm. Get these out of here. You know what? Best if I pick them up. But I should really only hold one in each hand. Ah. There we go. Now there were others who thought that they deserved to be the ringmaster. One of them said, I'm the strongest person in the zoo. Nobody is stronger than, would you like to meet him? His name's Herman. Herman? Yeah, here he is. There's Herman. No, that's Herman. No, Herman's on the end of my finger. He's a flea. Oh. See, here, we'll put Herman right there. And I think you just squish him. No, I set him off. I'm not going to squish Herman. Don't give away the end of the show. Anyway, <laughs> Herman likes to lift things. You know what? I do better over here. So Herman's going to grab the end of the rope and lift it up. He's lifting it up all by himself. I'm just holding this end of it. It's this hand that's lifting it. See, there's a string on this finger here, and that's what's causing it to lift up. And Oh, no, that's Herman. You don't believe Herman's there? No. What if you saw him walk across? No. Do it. Do it? You're doing it with your finger. Whoa! Did he just? Whoa! <laughs> what? You sure? Okay. Herman would like to try the triple somersault. What's a triple somersault? It's jumping in the air and spinning three times before landing back on the rope. To do that, it requires everyone to be very, very quiet. And when he's done, he needs a big round of applause. When he's done, when he's done, not now, it'll disturb him. He's concentrating. One. Two, three, up he goes once, twice, three times. He's done it, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a big.
All right. A moment of silence for Herman, and then we can move on. For the show must... All right, give me him back. Here we go. Anyway, the show must... My hat's misbehaving. Must have... Not me. Yeah, you are. It's Herman. <gasps> I didn't smash him after all. Yay. He's alive. Let's hear it for Herman. No, oh, not do that. We'll just put him right back up there. No, he's not real. <sighs> I thought you left him on that He believes in you. Anyway. No, he's on that thing. Yeah, 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 no relationships, perfect. Anyway, there were others, this, this two, who said, we do more damage in the circus. We are the most expensive people in the circus. We should be the ringmaster because we know how to do damage. That was me because sometimes I break stuff. Well, I need people who haven't been up yet. You and you. And Aubrey and her. No, I just need two people. I can't do this with four people. And what is your name? Rose. Rose, how are you? And what is your name? Finley. Finley, ladies and gentlemen, I present the amazing... You stand right over here. <laughs> the amazing plate spinners, Rose and Finley. Oh. <laughs> Did I get that backwards? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing plate... Uh, plate... <laughs> the amazing plate fin spinners... <laughs> Finley and Rose, yeah. Oh, I'm Finley, she's Rose. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Rose and Finley. There we go. No. No. I got it the other way around. Finley, no. this, is, this is Rose and this is Finley. And this is a pointy stick. Be careful with it, okay? It's not pointy enough that it's going to stab you, but it can pinch and watch. Don't hold it like this and then bend over because that would be pokey. And we have one for you. And we have one for me, so I can show you what to do. Oh, yeah, Baby, what if, you, what if you drop a plate? Yeah. This is easier. All right, oh, hold the stick straight up, and we will put this right on top of there. That's so easy. And then I we know. just get it spinning. Whoop! Oh, you dropped the plate. That was all you. No, oh, I, I know how it's going to do it because there's a bend in it. There we go. Now, and I will put one in there. Treat it like the peacock feather. Oh, my God, I'm still going. Ready? Hold it straight. And if you can treat it like the peacock feather, you could hold it in your hand like this and balance it. If you're very good, you could like swoop down and almost drop it. Aren't you glad you're in the front? See, oh, I'm, I'm just more skilled than everybody else. Wait a minute, I see a hole. You see a hole? No, there's no hole. I got it plugged with the stick. What? And anyway, That's all right. Awesome. Get it spinning. Get it spinning really good. And then take your finger up against the stick and push it all the way up until it's spinning on your finger. I see a hole. I see a hole. I see a hole. I see a little itty bitty hole. Now then, take it and toss it in the air and catch it. Toss it in, catch it, take a bow! We all see a hole! Yay. We all see a hole! Our plate spinners! We see a hole in that plate. Yeah. Oh, I know I cheat. Because I can. I can. Do you think I can get this off without knocking anything down? Yeah. do it later <laughs> because someone else was saying they should be ringmaster no. someone who hasn't been up here yet no 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 it was no. this young lady here no. come on up here and this young lady here and they said we are just the prettiest people <laughs> we deserve to be ringmasters because we're pretty put your hands up like this we're pretty <laughs> Excuse me. 
take one of those? Take this. Now spin them really big. Oh, don't no. get get it off your foot. Get it off your foot. There you go. Our ribbon dancers, over your heads. Spell your name. And whatever you do, do not become a ribbon mum mummy. Don't worry. You I've got time to later. And what you have to watch about, don't grab it, because that's what make it makes it naughty. Is the snake that squirrels around all over the place. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're caught. We're caught. Spaghettios. There you go. What do you think of our wondrous? Okay. All right. Uh, look at our I'll take that. I will take this. Got it. No, no, no. <laughs> Got it. I will take these. Don't worry. I was a Boy Scout. <laughs> now, thank you for your help. Now then. The fight in the circus got ugly. Finally, four of the best performers. Four people who haven't been up yet. You can be one. You could be one. You could be one. You've been up? Wait a minute, how many, how many people do we have? You're, you're sitting down, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. These four <gasps> decided that they, everybody agreed, it was probably between these four, unless, unless the number one person showed up. Now, I need you four over here, like so. Like so, let's see, we got trade places with her. One, two... Three, four, that sounds good. And you are over here, and you're going to watch it. <laughs>